Hello. Today's tutorial helps you understand how to complete a certain aspect of the critical examination assignment connected to the news reading project. Remember, you can find the news reading project here on Google Classroom. And you may wish to pull this up from time to time just to make sure that you're on the right track. Scrolling through. Remember that the critical examination project is an important part of the news reading overall project. Critical examinations help you understand how to read news articles intelligently. Not just to read them for summary, but to read them to understand how an author is supporting a given position. You can find the critical examination sent to you in your Google Drive. And it will look like this. This is a blank version. And in a previous video, I have discussed how to complete other sections of this blank version. But today I'd like to talk about supporting evidence. So as you look at this section, you can read four different types of supporting evidence that you'll want to include. Testimony, statistic, definition, or researched fact. Now, students may not understand the definitions of those terms, and you may not understand how to find them in an article. So let's do that right now. First, let's go over some basic definitions. Testimony refers to the statements and opinions of people and organizations. Statistic is simple. That is any numerical, that means number, fact. Definition is the definition of a word, concept, or idea that is new to the reader. Finally, a researched fact, any fact that a an author would need to research. And research could be reading, interviewing, or other gathering methods. Okay, so there's the definition of your four terms. Testimony, statistic, definition, and research fact. I've posted two critical examination examples where you can see these types of information in different articles. Unfortunately, those critical examination articles are no longer posted online. You can find the videos and the critical examinations themselves, but many of the news services have taken down those articles. Channel One, for instance, takes down articles after a period of time. So let's look at a new article and see what we can find. Go to New Zealand. And at New Zealand, I'd like you to find an article about Barbie. The article here says, states, Barbie moves from designer to actual computer engineer in new book. As I click that, I pull it up. And remember that in New Zealand, I can choose my own reading level. Today, I'll read this at an 820 Lexile reading level. So what I'd like you to do right now is take a moment, pause the video, and find this article read it from top to bottom at the 820 level. Once you finish that, I will continue in determining the types of evidence. Pause the video now and play again when everyone has completed reading. Now that you've finished reading, let's think about the article. First, let's see if we can find any testimony. Testimony refers to any person in the article speaking. Now you might say, well, there's Barbie speaking. However, Barbie's not a person, therefore we cannot consider that to be testimony. Let's look through. Here we go. Susan Marenko was the writer of this Barbie book and she makes certain statements. From this paragraph down to this paragraph, Marenko has made statements about the book. Those are testimony. Newzilla is a fantastic web resource. It allows me to highlight. So as I've highlighted this, I can click the yellow, and I can even write something. Testimony. 
and then I know exactly what that is. Come back to it, testimony. In fact, if you were to log out and then log back in, your highlights would still remain. So I found some testimony. I go to my critical examination, and I can write this. What was her name again? Susan Marenko. Susan Marenko's statements about the book. Testimony. It's that simple. I very quickly and clearly describe what the information is and identify it as one of the four types. So I found testimony. Let me see if I can find the next one, which would be statistic. I believe I remember reading a statistic right here. The number of visits to Feisler's counter Barbie book. I can highlight, say, statistic, highlight in green, my next color. Number of visits to Feisler's book. statistic. I'm doing a good job. I found quite a bit already, but I want to find a definition. I remember reading a definition up here at the top. A new book imagines there is a computer engineer, someone who builds apps, websites, and video games. That's my definition. I let it in my next color and note that it's a definition. I'll go back Definition of computer engineer. Definition. Finally, I want to find a research fact. Now, research facts are most common. In fact, I would be surprised if you read an article without one. So anything that remains is probably a research fact. For instance, this quotation, I'm only creating the game, the design idea, Barbie says, I'll need Steve and Brian's help to turn it into a real game. That is a quotation from a book. Therefore, it's a researched fact. Anything about the book, in fact, is a researched fact. So, these statements regarding the book are all researched facts. Content from the Barbie book research fact. So I found one of each of the four types. Warning, be careful. You will not find each type in every article. I have picked an article that happens to have all four types. However, you may not find all four. But what you should be able to do is account for all the information in the article. Let's take a look at what I mean by that. Look at how much I've highlighted. There's a bit highlighted. However, there's quite a lot not highlighted. So let me see what I can do. The book called, I, I'm gonna, I will ignore this. This is basically the topic sentence. But the book called Barbie, I can be a computer engineer is being criticized. That's also topic sentence information. How about here? Critics say this gives the message that girls are not good with computers. Book caused a lot of arguing on the internet. That's a research fact. So I'll highlight it in pink. University research student in Georgia saw the book. Um, she disagreed. Feisler decided to do something about it. So first of all, I've got Casey Feisler's opinion. She disagreed. This is something of her testimony. So I'll highlight that in yellow. And then she did something about it. She wrote a new book. This is a fact. And the researcher, the author, had to research that. So I'll highlight that in pink. Mattel apologized for the book in a Facebook post. This is Mattel speaking about the book. And if you recall, testimony could also be the statement or opinion of an organization, like a company. So I will highlight that in yellow as another testimony. Finally, Feisler is a doctorate student at Georgia Tech University in Atlanta. These are facts about her. I'll list those as research facts. And here I've got her opinion again. Oops, I want to highlight the whole thing. There we go. I've accounted for all of the article with the exception of the topic sentence information.
All I need to do is go back to here, Feisler's opinions, testimony, Mattel's statements about the book, testimony, fact, about Eisler researched fact and so on. I'll probably list a few more. But importantly, what I've done is made sure to cover the entire article. I haven't just pulled out a few pieces of evidence. I've pulled out every piece of evidence on the article. I've highlighted it all. Now you can't highlight all the articles that you may wish to read. You do not have a highlighting tool on CNN unless you find a separate tool. And if you want to investigate, I use something called Digo, which allows me to highlight any website anywhere. And the highlights remain even when I leave and come back. So if you want to investigate something like that, Digo is D-I-I-G-O. You can. But Newzilla is an excellent resource that has those highlights built in. Regardless, even if you don't have a highlight tool, you can take notes on a separate document. You could even, if you wished, copy and paste the text of your article into a Google document, and that would give you the ability to highlight or make notes as you wish. However you do it, you must accomplish what I've accomplished today. So I'll review from beginning to end. I've read the article, and then I've gone through each piece of evidence, ignoring topic sentence material, and I've identified what type it is. Each time I identify a type, I highlight and go back to my critical examination sheet. Then I describe really quickly what it is, Susan Marenko's statements about the book, and I identify its type, testimony. If you've done this properly, you should have accounted for every piece of evidence within the article. And actually, once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. Today, you'll be working in a group, applying this to a group critical examination. If you're watching this video at another time and applying it individually, do so. If you have trouble with it, please feel free to ask questions and bring them to workshop sessions so you can solve those problems and work efficiently.